All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get our fuel line. Now, this is not the Volkswagen style fuel line. This is just the uh, rubber quarter inch fuel line. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start installing that. Let me get a clamp out here. Fucking plastic bags. I fucking hate them. <sighs> Mess. I need to get rid of those plastic fucking bags. Do away with that shit. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So we're going to go ahead and take our clamp. Where's my other fucking tool? Where the fuck did it go? Bitch. All right. Let me start that over. Okay, can I do that? Take two. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a, a rubber fuel line. This isn't the Volkswagen style. That's pretty hard to find uh, just at your local hard, uh, automotive store. So we're going to use rubber uh, fuel line. And I'm going to put a brand new clamp on that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and hook that to our fuel pump. But what we're going to do, we're not going to go down through the bottom here. What we are going to do, we are going to go up through the top. Just like so. Let me get this on here and I'll show you what I mean. And you want to make sure that clamp is on there nice and tight. That's why I wanted to get brand new ones because I wanted to make sure that we don't have no fuel leaks. You definitely don't want a fuel leak on a Volkswagen Bug. I can tell you that right now. Fuel leaks will start fires in a Volkswagen, especially around all this electronic stuff. So what we're going to do, instead of running it down where all this heat is, we are going to take our fuel line and we are going to go up on top, just like this. If you can see how I'm doing that. I'm bringing my fuel line up here where there's going to get air onto it. So that's going to keep it cooled down. And then I'm going to run it down through the housing here. I'm not going to go through the very back of the engine. I'm going to find me a loose fitting hole, which if you own an old vintage antique bug, you will find a hole somewhere to run that line. And we're going to go ahead and run that down through there. I forgot the most important thing. Before you run your fuel line through there, you, what you want to do is you want to find a spot where you can make a loop in it. You want to have a loop in your fuel line. Just like that. All right. And the reason that we are putting a loop in the fuel line because that is going to keep uh, that is going to keep it from creating air bubbles. So if you look right here, now you see that there is a loop in our fuel line. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to run it down through there. Just like this. And now I'm going to go back under there, and what I'll do is I will mount my fuel filter underneath the car. That's right, underneath the car, where there will be a lot of air getting to that fuel filter so it won't vapor lock. So now if you look right here, you can see here's our fuel line right here. I'm, I'm going through this, uh, this clamp, this line clamp right here. And then there's our fuel filter right there. And uh, that is running freely. And it goes up and around. I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, I'm upside down on my fucking back. But uh, where my finger is pointing right there, that is the fuel line. And uh, there's the filter right there. So now what we got... We got our filter underneath the car instead of on top inside where it's going to get real hot. Now it's underneath the car getting nice fresh air instead of hot air from the engine. And then of course last but not least we got to hook our fuel line from our 
uh, fuel pump and then come around and we're going to make it up here. We're not going to go back behind the carburetor under here like it was. We're going to come up and around like this and then we'll hook it right here to our, uh, yeah, you got it, to our carburetor. So this is kind of tricky to get this in here without taking the distributor cap off, but we're going to go ahead and do it and uh, see if we can get it on here. There it is. Okay, so we get that on there like that. And then, of course, we're going to put our clamp on. And the fuel system on a Volkswagen, that's one of the main things uh, that you really want to be careful with and make sure that it's working properly because a lot of problems occur from the fuel system on a VW Bug that uh, people don't realize that's your problem. And the main problems that you have, the main issues you have with your Volkswagen motor fuel system is vapor locking because of the extreme heat. So then what we'll do is we'll bring our fuel line up here just like this. You see how I'm doing that and I'm coming over and I'm going to let it lay right here nice and easy. I'm not pushing it down in there. I don't want to pinch that line up or, you know, uh, get it where it's right up next to it. I want it to lay lot nice and loose up there where it's going to lay and uh, work just fine. So we'll, we'll go ahead and cut our fuel line to length just like this. And I always like to cut my fuel line a little bit bigger than uh, it's supposed to be because that gives it a loop in it where it's not touching the engine. So if you look at it right here, you can see that uh, when I get this all hooked up, it won't be touching the engine. And uh, where the fuck is my clamp? There it is right there. Okay, and uh, yeah, you got the idea. So we'll go here. We're going to hook our fuel line back to the carburetor, just like this. And of course, this is a different fucking size than everything else, so we're going to have to forcefully put it on here, bitch. Why don't they make everything the same so it's all in sequence? You know, they got a fucking 5 sixteenths here, quarter inch there. You think the carburetor maker would be smart enough to say, hey, uh, this is only going on a Volkswagen. They're not going to put it on a fucking Chevy truck. Let's uh, go ahead and make the fuel line where it fits with all the proper fuel fucking line. But no, they have to be their fucking way and do it their fucking way and, you know, fuck us in our ass, basically. Now, there's that. That looks good, just like that. Hey, Manny, I know you're not a fan of Volkswagens because my friend Pete just happens to own one and he loves his little bug, but can you go ahead and get inside that? Just to demonstrate, uh, go ahead and you know pull the emergency brake up and put it in neutral and turn the key over and let's see if this fuel system is going to work. Do you think work. I can actually do that? I don't know because you don't drive Maxwell. This car, I, I've never drove a Volkswagen. Yeah, they're but like, you don't drive my car. That's they're the like some foreign car. Or something. Well, I don't know if I've Well, to just it make out. sure it's in neutral, okay? We don't want it to jump forward or backwards. That's I all. I don't know. If I okay, can, can you put the emergency brake on? You're rolling. All right. Go ahead and start it up. Okay, so give it some gas. Give it a little gas. There you go. There you go. So now what we've done, we've created a system where the car will not vapor lock anymore and it will run very, very nice down the highways and byways of the United States of America. This is the way that you want to treat your fuel system when you're working on a Volkswagen Beetle bug. Uh, put the fuel filter down underneath and then... Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, you can turn it off now. Don't it's get used. racing. Yeah, but don't get used to it. You're still not driving. You know, maybe if you actually let me drive Maxwell, sometimes I might actually like him. Yeah, that's why you're not driving him. All right, nobody drives Maxwell except me. You know that. Well, the piece of shit can stay in the garage. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, he's sitting back there. Tell him. He's I'm right there. You better not go kick him. Leave him alone. Yeah, keep it up, baby. Keep it up. Do you know how pissed off I would have got if she would have kicked my car? <laughs> wow. So now the owner of this uh, nice classic vintage uh, convertible bug 
will be worry free from ever vapor locking again. I'll go ahead and get a couple wire ties just to loosely wire tie it here so it doesn't fall out or hit the uh, intake manifold, this, that, and the other, and uh, we'll be all set to go. And that's the situation you have right there. That's the situation you have. So if you're running into this problem and you were stranded on the highway at one time or, uh, you know, in a bad part of the neighborhood of town and you wanted to get the fuck out of there but you couldn't because it was vapor locking and the gangland was coming after you, now you know how to fix your VW right. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, painstakingly showing you tech tips and tricks of how to do shit the My Friend Pete way. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.